Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a little project that I thought I would just shoot a video on. I did a little test on it and thought it was really unique and saw some YouTube videos out there on it and I said, I'm going to make my own. So my wife uh, loves Disney so she makes these little signs and everything to hang around the house. And she lays all this out in pencil and then fills it in. And come to the last part where the signature was and she wasn't quite happy with the results, so she asked me if I could help her out. And I said, sure, let's try it on the CNC machine. So what I come up with was mounting a pencil in the collet. And the problem I had was, after just a few letters, the, um, the little carbon would uh, wear away. And the print would fade as it went from one side to the other, so really the would need to be spring-loaded. So I'll come up with something. So let me show you what I've got. We're going to start with a pencil here. And uh, basically, we're just going to cut a piece of the pencil off. And um, I'll show you how I put it in the, in the collet. Let me sharpen the end of this pencil and we'll get to the cutting. Okay, so we have our sharpened pencil here. So I'm going to guess at it, and uh, we're going to probably go somewhere in this neighborhood here. And I'm just going to kind of roll it and score the line. Oops, and drop it. So from here, I'm going to take a little tape. Because the collet doesn't quite grab around that. So this is just a little shim. Okay. So that takes up the space for the collet. So now let's go over to the machine and I'll show you how this loads into the uh, collet. Alright, so the collet that I have in here... I think is in the neighborhood of a uh, 5 sixteenths collet because right now we are measuring yeah, about 330 so it may be a 3 8 collet in there or uh, 10 millimeter and then I found this spring in my collection this looks to be about a 5 millimeter by around 12 millimeter spring it's pretty strong. I started with the second one. I mean, the first one was a little too light. So this one ended up being a pretty good spring. So what I want to do is I want it to just drag in the collet. Not enough to where it really wiggles and not enough to where it will drop. So then I'm going to take the spring, put it inside. And now I have a spring loaded pencil. So we'll put the board on here, center it, and we'll do the Walt Disney drawing. So here's the test piece that I did last night. And this was actually done with a very wobbly pencil. So I'm hoping that some of these details will actually be sharper on the finished project. And I spaced the Walt and the Disney apart and I put the dash over here. So the final result, result we're about to see should look different, but this is essentially what I did on the machine. So let's uh, run the program and let's see what it looks like. So I want to show you the layout here. As with any CNC project, the always <laughs> the hardest thing to do is to figure out how you're going to hold something. Well, luckily we only have the pressure of the pencil going across the piece. So this should be sufficient. So I've got my white, uh, this is the UHMW piece here. It's bolted to the table. This piece is registered off the back line of this UHMW. And it's got some of these uh, toe clamps slid in here and pulled up against it. So it's slightly off center, but that's okay. I just All I need is a good solid surface to be on. Clamp down here, 
clamp down as far away as we can over here so we'll run air first to make sure that the pencil is not going to go near this which it should not and if all's well then uh, we will run the Walt Disney name on this I'll try to get a good close up for you guys so let me double check the program I'm going to run the air off camera so you guys won't have to watch that we'll get a good zoom in and uh, we'll film the actual name being engra uh, being written slash engraved Okay, I think we're ready to go. So I ran it in the air and I found out that I really need to put some clamps out here. The It was bowing a little bit. And I know we have a spring-loaded pencil, but I don't really want to put that side load on this. So we should be able to load our spring into our spindle. Okay, we'll bring it down. And I'm only going to preload this probably about a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, so that's snug. There's our spring load. Matter of fact, while we're at, let's do eighty thou. So I'm going to tell it that it's eighty thou above the surface now. And I think we're ready. Let's hit go and see what happens. Alright, let me get the machine out of the way. Let's get you guys off the camera stand here and let's see what we got. I don't know about you guys, but I am very happy with that. So I tweaked the settings so we had 80 thou down load and I could tell after the first letter that the tip started wearing in so if I wanted to make this permanent without drawing in, I'd probably run the line a little bit before I took off because as you see it goes, it gets a little lighter because of the wear. So for a quick homemade spring setup, I think it's okay. The travel speed was 60 inches a minute on this drawing and um, the fonts available online, you just do a Google search for it. But anyway. If you like what you see, please uh, comment, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.